Hello, it's Horror Fan Man again. So, said I'd do a quick one on my Arrow video Blu rays that I've got. I haven't got that many. You now, some of them are still quite expensive and hard to get. So, crack on. And just a quick shout out to Moods616 for watching my videos and leaving some comments. All right, here we go. First one I got here it's the Day of the Dead, 25th anniversary. Two disc edition, some good covers on there. Lots of special features on the two discs. Some uh, probably my favourite of the Romero Dead films. Obviously the third one he done. Pretty gutted that I didn't pick up the Dawn of the Dead edition of this on Arrow because it goes for crazy money now. But yeah, it's a really good film. Love Joseph Palato. He was ace in it. Like. Bud, Bud in it as well. Oh, Bub was funny. You know, but ones where they're stuck on the ground in the bunker. Really good tension in the film. Lots of great gore, especially when he gets ripped in half there. Brilliant. Love that cover as well. Right. Next up, Dario Argento's Deep Red from back in 1975. I always remember seeing this one in the horror mags of the day in the 80s and that. Seen it on video then as well before it got banned. Lots of good special features on there as well. Yeah, wasn't as good as I remembered it. It was when I was a teenager, but, you know, it was quite good. You know, some good kills in it, but a little bit too slow for me at the minute. Next up, Dara Argento again is Inferno. Love that cover. It's another one. Four different covers you can see there. Loads of special features again. Really good film. This is one of my favourites from being a teenager. Glad to get it uncut here. Really good. Some of the girl from Rome goes to New York, buys a book from a strange little bookshop, and it goes on from there, and her brother comes over. Yeah, second one from the Free Mothers trilogy. After Suspira, or Suspiria. Yeah, it's really good, worth picking up. Great transfer, really good picture. That's really good. Next up, City of the Living Dead. Really enjoyed this because the other time I've seen this before, it was a really bad copy on DVD. Four covers again. Really great sound there. Loads of special features as well. Yeah, really good Lucio Fucci film that. Love the bit with the girl. Six her, <laughs> six her guts up in the car. Really funny. That's, and the driller in the old head scene as well. It's another great one. Really good transfer. Really good film. Great sound as well. 7.1. Up next, you have Toby Hooper's Fun House. Really good slash film. One of my favourite sort of film. Yeah. Really, really enjoy this one. I'm glad I picked this one up. I've got it quite cheap as well. It took me a little while to get hold of it, but I kept in there and got it for my birthday. Uh, it's a 1981 film. There's about four kids, as usual. Went to the fun fair thing. Sneak into the fun house at night, smoke some weed and that. See a girl get murdered, and then it just goes off from there. Really good fun. Recommend that one. Next up, The Beyond. I love that cover. Brilliant. Another Lucio Fucci one. Another special edition one there with four different color covers there. Really good. It's probably one of his best known films from 81. Yeah, she uh, inherits a hotel there. Goes in there, starts doing it up. It's one of the seven doorways of hell. Lots of weird shit starts happening. It's a good ending. Really gory. Finally uncut here. Brilliant copy as well on the Blu-ray. Really good transfer. Good sound as well. Great. Better than the shitty DVDs we get. Then we've got Maniac Cop there. Back from 1988. William Lustig film. Brilliant. Another one. Good covers there. Different ones. Loads of special features again on there. Always one of my favourite films from 80, back in the old 80s. Uh, great cast as well. Bruce Campbell, Tom Atkins, Richard Roundtree and Laurie Landon. Yeah, 
First of the three. I've only got this one. I haven't got the other ones yet. I think they're out on Blu-ray in America. Keep hoping that Arrow video are going to release them as well. Yeah, good film. Bruce Campbell gets accused of being the cop killer. Obviously he isn't. There's that big psycho there. Yep, really good one. Love that as well. You have the right to remain silent forever. Great. Another one of my favourites from the comedy ones. Vamp. Brilliant. Grace Jones is really freaky in this. No, I don't think she's good looking at all myself. But, yeah, good one from Richard Wenk there. 1986. Went to cinema to watch this. Really enjoyed it then. But the best one in it is Ged Wantabe. Chinese guy. Funny as fuck, man. Plus, Billy Drago. There's a good baddie in it as well. Yeah, I got this one quite cheap. Yep, recommend that. Finally, I got the classic Motel Hell. Always wanted to see this. Never did get to see it back in the day. Special features galore on it as well. Yep, 1980s film there. Kevin Connor, one where the people get buried by the weird owners of the motel there. Stick them in there, bury it up to their neck, and then <laughs> take them out, churn them up into sausages. Hmm, lovely. Yep, good chainsaw jewel right at the end. You know, probably one of the ideas for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Same sort of ending to it. Really good fun. Get this one quite cheap as well. So, yep, that's all I've got. So, any of you seen any, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of them. Plus, anyone selling Dawn of the Dead special edition there cheap let me know I'll take it off your hands costs about 50 quid now I'm paying that much alright see you later bye